you're considering buying a new construction home in the Hall County, Gainesville, Flowery Branch area. Well, what do you need to know when considering buying a new construction home? I'm going to give you 10 things you need to know before you buy that new construction home. Hi, I'm Sarah Mislowski. I'm a real estate agent serving the Northeast Metro Atlanta area. I specialize in Hall County, Gainesville, Flowery Branch, Razzleton. Here are 10 things you have to know before you go and purchase a new construction home. You need to know that prices aren't negotiable. What? That's right. You can't really negotiate the price on a new construction home. So new construction home prices are set obviously by the builder. And while it's very hard to negotiate the price of the home, you do sometimes have the ability to negotiate other incentives such as seller paid closing costs or extra upgrades in the house such as um, blinds or upgraded flooring or a refrigerator. Those are all things that you want to consider to see if you can have the ability to negotiate that, but just know that the prices are pretty firm when it comes to new construction homes. The reason for this is that the builder wants to make sure that the home appraises and they incrementally increase the price of the home every couple of weeks. And if they discount your home, it's going to affect the value of the next home sale. So prices are pretty firm. However, you can negotiate some other terms whenever you are purchasing your new construction home. Since we're talking about negotiating the price on a home and incentives, you need to know that that agent on site, they represent the builder. They are fantastic, knowledgeable, and they're going to give you a whole host of information about the neighborhood, floor plans, and the current incentives that are being offered by the builder. And yes, they can write a contract for you, but it's really important that you know that that agent represents the builder, which means they have a fiduciary obligation to the builder. They have the builder's best interests in mind and at heart and at stake, not yours. So what do you need to do to make sure that you are protected in the transaction? Well, you need to have your own agent and heck, why wouldn't you? It is completely free to use your agent. That is right. The builder and the seller, they always pay the buyer's commission on a real estate agent. So why would you not have someone that's going to be there with you the entire time walking you through the entire transaction and making sure that your best interests are being looked out for? You need an agent representing you. It would just simply be foolish not to have one. The agent that you choose is going to be someone that is going to be knowledgeable about new construction and they're going to be able to give you all the ins and outs and things that you should look for and they're going to know what you can and can't negotiate. We talked earlier that most of the time prices aren't that negotiable. And while that's true most of the time, the agent that you choose is going to have that specific knowledge uh, to know whether or not if, if your particular case, if that price can be negotiated and what extra things that you should ask for in its place if price cannot be negotiated on the purchase of your new home. I'd love to tell you a story about a new construction buyer that I was working with. We were um, working with a smaller builder and in the middle of the process, we decided to put a contract on a new construction home and the home had not been completed yet. However, there were two homes next to this home that had already been completed, had a nice, pretty, regular concrete driveway that was installed. So my client, we checked on the progress of the build. We were about two months away from closing on the sale of this home. The client drove by, gave me a call and said, Sarah, the driveway, what's going on with it? And so the builder chose to put in an asphalt driveway whereas the neighboring driveways had concrete driveways. And so you could, you know, un understand that my buyer was, didn't, was, was very upset. They didn't understand why they were getting an asphalt black driveway while their neighbors had a nice pretty concrete driveway. In this scenario, it was a perfect example of why it's so important to have an agent on your side looking out for you. We were able to talk with the builder and get my buyer out of that contract because the builder was not building a, a like um, kind house that we had seen previously and what we had made a good faith effort of putting a contract on a house and all of a sudden the builder's changing things up. Now I can guarantee you that without having someone fighting and negotiating on my buyer's behalf like I did for her, that builder's agent would have made things very, very difficult for that buyer to have gotten out of that contract if they did not have their own agent and someone that was forceful and pushing back negotiating on their behalf. It's very important that you have 
an agent fighting for you. The next thing that you need to know is that typically the builder is always going to offer incentives if you use their preferred lender. So what does that mean? Most all new construction communities, they have preferred lenders that they have developed relationships with. And if you use those preferred lenders, typically you're going to see some sort of incentive for closing cost. Let's just say $5,000. So of that $5,000, typically half of that's coming from the preferred lender and half of that amount is coming from the builder itself. However, in order to qualify and get that incentive, you have to use their preferred lender. Now, you might be asking yourself, that sounds like a great idea. I should do, why, why wouldn't you do that? And you know, that may be the case. However, you always wanna make sure that you get a second opinion from an outside lender. Sometimes that preferred lender is rolling in those closing costs or that incentive that they're giving you, they're hiding that fee somewhere else in the loan, whether it be a higher interest rate or a higher loan origination charge. That's something that you want to get an outside opinion and compare apples to apples before you commit to that closing cost. Sometimes what seems as a great benefit up front may not be the best thing for you. And it's really important that you have someone that's guiding you through that process that's going to help you navigate that and make that decision as to what's the best financial incentive for you, whether that's using that preferred lender or using an outside lender. The next thing that you need to know is the difference between a spec home and a custom built home. So most builders, whenever they are advertising a home for sale, more often than not, it is a spec home. That means it's a home that they built and they do not have a buyer yet for it. They're trying to find a buyer. So it's already either in the process of being constructed or it may even already be completed. That is a spec home. Now on a spec home, you are going to have to put down a builder's deposit. So a builder's deposit, um, which kind of locks in your contract is a set amount of money that's going to hold that home for you and get the contract process started. Builder's deposits on a spec home is a little bit different than a builder's deposit on a brand new construction home that you choose the lot and you choose the floor plan and you choose the colors. So just know that the builder's deposit that you put down is going to be a little bit different when it comes to a spec home versus a home where you are picking out the lot and starting from scratch. So that leads me to my next point. If you are wanting to pick out your own lot and choose your own floor plan, that is essentially kind of a custom built home where you're making all those decisions. We talked about how that builder's deposit is going to be a little bit different. Now, when you get the option to pick out your lot, you're going to pay what they call a lot premium. All the builders are going to have lot premiums assigned to every lot in the neighborhood. Corner lots and lots on the back of a cul-de-sac, those homes are going to sell for more than a lot that's smack dab in the middle and you've got neighbors directly beside you and behind you. So be prepared to know that you are going to pay a premium whenever you get to pick out your own lot and you're going to pay a premium for those premium lots. Makes sense, right? Another thing that you need to know is that after you pick out your lot, you're also going to get the option most of the time to pick out some set of options in the home, such as cabinet color and flooring choices and carpet, those sorts of things. It's a really fun process and it can be really great to have the option to pick out all those things. However, you need to know that you do have to put down a deposit on those things that you pick out because the builder is custom building this home to your exact specifications. They did not get to pick out the finishes and choices like they do in a spec home. Therefore, they want you to have a little bit of extra skin in the game whenever you are picking out those choices. Because if for whatever reason, something were to happen and you are to back out of that contract or heaven forbid the loan falls through, they're stuck with that house that it's specified to your specifications. So just be prepared that you're going to have to put down a little bit more of a deposit on those options that you choose whenever you are making those choices outside of the standard features. The next thing that you need to know is that new construction home contracts, they have a shorter financing contingency period. So it's super important that you pay attention to whenever that financing contingency period, and that's the time period that you have to get with the bank to make sure that they are going to be able to approve you for that loan. You need to be on the ball of getting your documents in and really communicating with that loan officer to make sure that you're on top of it so that you're protecting that deposit that you have put down on that home. So make sure that you pay attention to what that financing contingency period is whenever you're purchasing a new construction home. 
The next thing that you need to know is that you still need a home inspection. I see far too often talking with people that have already purchased new construction homes, they did not have a home inspection. They think that because it's brand new and because there's codes that the builder did everything perfectly. Well, I can assure you that having a home inspection is a very, very smart investment in the purchase of your new construction home. Most home inspections only cost around $400. That's a wise investment when you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on a brand new construction home. That home inspector is going to inspect that home from top to bottom, and they're going to give you a report of everything that is wrong with the home. Heck, people make mistakes, including builders, and it's the home inspector's job to catch those mistakes. So you would rather catch those up front rather than discover a mistake, you know, one year, two years, or five years down the road. Sometimes those mistakes can be hugely impactful when it comes to the value of your home and how things operate. You'd rather catch those up front and early rather than just trusting that the builder did everything perfectly. One of the great benefits of purchasing a new construction home is that most all builders are going to offer a really great warranty with that home. Most builders will offer a one year warranty on their craftsmanship. So nail pops and things like that, caulking, they'll come back a year later and fix anything that, that might have shown up over your first year of ownership. Most builders are gonna offer a two year warranty when it comes to the systems and appliances in your home. And then they are also gonna offer a 10 year structural warranty on the structure of the home. This is a really powerful thing that you can have and it gives you a peace of mind and it's one of the great benefits of purchasing a new construction home. And it's not something that you will typically find in a resale home. Yes, there's home warranties and resale homes that you can negotiate. However, it's not gonna give you that 10 year peace of mind that these new construction home warranties are going to give you. Another thing that you need to know about new construction home purchases is that most of these homes are going to be in a neighborhood with an HOA. So if you are anti HOA and you don't want one, hmm, new construction homes most likely is not the right choice for you. Because of these homes being in an HOA neighborhood, that means you're gonna have an HOA uh, that is due every single year. Some of these are going to include things like lawn maintenance and exterior maintenance if you're looking um, in a uh, 55 plus community. Um, or typically it's much smaller um, fee that you have, usually five to $600 for the entire year. And that's gonna cover things like sidewalks, street lamps, the entrance, making the entrance look really pretty every single um, season with flowers. And it's usually gonna cover a neighborhood playground or a swimming pool. Um, and some even have tennis courts that are available as well. You do need to know that some HOAs are going to also charge you an initiation fee to join that HOA. It's a one-time thing that you have to pay up front. Usually it's equal to the amount of the yearly HOA dues. So just know that that's going to be a slight increase in the expense of your closing cost whenever you have to pay that initiation fee. And lastly, what you need to know about buying a new construction home is that you do get a great benefit when it comes to your homeowner's insurance. Typically your homeowner's insurance is going to be much cheaper on a new construction home because well, everything is new, which is so great. So um, insurance companies don't have to take on the additional added expense of worrying about old roofs, things like that. So the price of your homeowner's insurance is typically cheaper than what it would be if you were to go find a resale home, which can be a great benefit on top of all the other great things that we've talked about whenever you're buying a new construction home. It saves you money every single month and it goes directly into your pocketbook in terms of savings. So if you've considered purchasing a new construction home anywhere in the Northeast Metro Atlanta area, I would love to help guide you through that process. It's one of my favorite things to do is work with new construction um, buyers. It's such a fun process and there's lots of different options to choose from. But like I said earlier, it's super important that you have an agent on your side negotiating on your behalf. You need to know who that person is going to be before you step foot into a new construction community. So make sure you've identified an agent. I'd love to be that person for you. I'm Sarah Maslowski with Keypoint Homes by Sarah, the key to a great real estate experience.